Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of our review of the P9X79 WS motherboard and we are going to take a look at the Asus UEFI Bosch Utility and the P9X79 WS motherboard and here is the easy mode uh, window you start, this is actually the default layout if you, uh, first time you uh, fired up your system the P9X79 WS system, it looks similar to the other UEFI uh, Bosch Utility screens you will see in uh, non-ROG ASUS boards and you basically have the everything here laid out you have the of course system time and date you have the BIOS version we have the latest BIOS version here 0603 and tells you the memory and your CPU that is installed and uh, here you can see the temperature and voltages in graph form and you can also quickly uh, just adjust certain presets here. You have the default of course and you can uh, set it to ASUS Optimal or Power Saving Mode. And at the bottom you have the boot priority. I only have one hard drive installed right now but if you have multiple drives here, even optical drives and USB drives, you can quickly uh, press those and it will be, uh, it will immediately boot, uh, exit you out of the ASUS Easy Mode and boot immediately into that device. Of course we are going to the advanced uh, mode. Before we go that, you can uh, first we see the other buttons here at the bottom, you have the shortcut, the F3 shortcut button and the boot menu button is F8 and the default for loading everything is F5. So we'll click to advanced mode, it will tell you to whether you want to save changes here or uh, switch to advanced mode which we will do. And here is a bit more different, uh, this, uh, each of the functions are separated in different tabs. In the first main tab you have the information have all all the memory speed information here and you can also change it to multiple languages and next is the AI tweaker where you will do most of your overclocking and here is the uh, AI overclock tuner you have you can you can do an auto which is default manual you can set the b b base clock frequency and all other features in there or the XMP depending on your uh, RAM For example you can see the, the profile in there for the memory we have installed and uh, the overclock gen filter memory frequency you can just set that to 1600 if you don't want to use the XMP and uh, for the for the individual settings for that here underneath you have the OC tuner which is an automatic overclock utility and you have DRAM timing control for adjusting the memory let's go in there you can see uh, the read the uh, timing that is reading here on the the settings it's generally set at here at the left side while here at the right side you can type in what value you want to replace it with and as you can see I'm using the mouse instead of keyboard this is a, this is a UEFI uh, interface see there's a lot of uh, controls for your DRAM timing more so than other uh, than other motherboards would let you because the digit plus uh, power control from the old Asus, uh, not not, not uh, from from the old uh, Asus motherboards, are actually now in the X79 systems are actually also applied to the DRAM as well. So you have a lot more control in terms of overclocking your memory and a lot more control uh, with, with the uh, power delivery. And the next one, of course, Digi Plus power control. And here. It's a lot. So you can see the, the DRAM settings there for your voltage at the bottom and the CPU voltage uh, and the VCCSA as well which controls the memory here uh, for you can change the older and calibration and the current capabilities and the last one is CPU performance setting where you can change uh, depending on your CPU of course and salt you have the speed step enable or disable there turbo mode you can also enter also the turbo parameters at the bottom each individual turbo parameter and uh, CPU ratio on top but you can also uh, access those later uh, when you go to the advanced CPU features here on the next tab but uh, before we do that let's go down and see the voltage settings we can, we can pick you have the uh, V core voltage either offset mode or manual mode see for manual mode from there and then the uh, offset mode you can either plus or minus uh, depending on uh, how you want it to be same thing with the uh, CPU VCGSA and the DRAM voltage you can type in here you can see the voltage it is currently at on the left side as well you can change the voltage for the CPU PLL, CPU, VTT, CPU and PCH 
and all the more DRAM voltage uh, options here at the bottom for DRAM reference voltage for each individual channel and CPU spread spectrum and PCIe spread spectrum let's go back uh, to the next tab actually uh, advanced here as I mentioned the CPU configuration more more options are available here and you can see the CPU information you have installed there and uh, more options including here the CPU power management configuration where you can also adjust the same settings you can adjust earlier in the EH speaker you have the a, a CPU ratio the speed up and turbo mode of course if you want to overclock you're always on the leave uh, turbo mode enabled and but uh, this is the difference now is that you have the uh, C state uh, options in here as well and uh, the let's go back to levels and next one is system agent, agent configuration you can change the PCIe from gen 3 gen 1 or gen 2 or gen 3 is a default PCH SATA configuration where you, uh, depending on your SATA, uh, your SATA drives are installed the default is actually AHCI mode and you have uh, you can disable it completely you have IDE mode or RAID mode and you can see which uh, drive is plugged into which plug and you can also enable uh, hot plugging uh, for each individual drive of course next is the USB you have legacy USB support you get legacy USB 3.0 support which are both enabled by default the HCI hands off by dis and disabled onboard devices for your front panel audio you can disable that you have the dual LAN you can enable or disable them or also enable the PXE of ROM and uh, you have the Firewire as media USB 3.0 and Marvel storage as well as here in the bottom you have the serial port configuration and nested menu you can enable or disable the serial port header and the uh, last one is the APM for uh, power management you have the uh, you can all these other features are disabled by default but you can enable it depending on how you want your system to run and of course the next tab here we can see is the monitor tab where you can change uh, your fan controls now uh, ASUS motherboards have uh, one of the best actually the best I have seen in any uh, motherboard uh, lineup that have the the in terms of flexibility with fan controls and uh, here at the top you can see the uh, the temperatures for your system and the fan speeds attached I only have one fan attached because the case I'm using the CM Storm Tour full tower case actually has their built-in fan control and I keep on, I keep it running at the maximum speed so that uh, when I whenever I do my overclocking uh, I won't have I won't run into thermal issues but uh, if, you, if you want more precise control especially paired with the AI Suite 2 here in the BIOS you can see all the Q fan controls and uh, so you can change, set the CPU fan speed low limit and the fan profile you can change from silent, turbo, manual or the standard which just uh, depending on the uh, the fans that you're, you've attached here of course you have Q fan control for chassis 1, chassis 2, 3, 4 and 5 here at the bottom you can uh, actually the, just 4 of them and uh, the CPU I think is separate yeah, the CPU is separate, so that's the fifth one. The CPU fan controls are separate from the four uh, fan profile, fan controls, uh, Q fans that you can uh, control in your motherboard. As for here at the bottom, you can see the CPU voltages that are currently being used. And at the bottom most option is the anti surge support. Now, the next tab we have is the boot tab where you can uh, change some more options for. Uh, it's for full screen logo where you just place the ASUS logo at the beginning or the setup mode wherever you want it to be if you want it to uh, easy mode default uh, at the startup of your UFI or you want it to immediately go into advanced mode you can set it there and you have the option here you can change the BB uh, the hard drive BBS priorities here and the boot options of course I only have one drive installed there so there's no other options but if you have multiple drives, you can see it here, the uh, boot option for the uh, hardware BBS. And you can also see that which port it is plugged in here, so it's not confusing. So for this one, just it says that my hard drive my hard drive is plugged into the uh, port 0, so the first uh, Intel port. And here at the bottom, just the same as the easy mode, you have the boot override, where you can quickly boot into a drive here that's listed at the bottom. You just simply click on one, it will immediately boot into there. And the last tab is the tool tab, where you have the... ASUS Easy Flash to Utility for flashing your BIOS. It's basically a separate uh, 
utility, but it's still part of the UFI system. You can see you can browse uh, if it if you can load the ROM inside your uh, into your your motherboard from your hard drive or a uh, a USB drive. So you can see here you can read it and. Uh, but we're already using the latest version, which, uh, which is the version 0603 for the P9X79WS motherboard. So we don't need to update that right now. So it's uh, you can also do backup function, uh, backup the current BIOS into your your uh, drive, or uh, the other options. So let's go exit that now and go back to the main UFI utility. Here you have the DRAM SPD information. You can check. Each individual, which uh, which banks are populated and which uh, which timings it uses, and you can see the uh, the JDEX back there and the XMP profile on the right, so you can make sure. Uh, let's see, let's go back up the OC profile. You have you have an overclock. I have one uh, profile here, actually labeled I'm it 48, but it's actually a 4.9 gigahertz overclock, and uh, so you can save up to eight profiles there. It is eight banks in total. You can change the label and save or load from it. And your know, last one is the Asus Drive Expert. Where we're uh, changing the normal mode here, or super speed or easy backup mode. And at the bottom, you can change which devices. Uh, see if it's not if if you have a drive plugged in to the uh, these are the Marvel. Uh, I think these are the Marvel drives. You can change. Uh, you can read the the settings in here for your drive expert, and uh, that's pretty much it. And let's go back to the rest of the review. And thanks for watching. And subscribe to our channel at uh, hightechyoutube.com/slash hightechlegion, or go to our website hightechlegion.com to read the rest of this review.